Hi, how's it going? I don't have a cameraman, so I've got to do this all myself. Hopefully I'm getting in on the shot here. Um, name's Tom Gusser. I'm a, I was a, I'm an ex-PWT pro. I fished the PWT for six years. And as I always say, I picked up a few tricks, but here's another one I invented on my own out of frustration. Uh, we fished a lot of lead core line, and for those of you that are using lead core, you know that the typical way to fix lead core to the monofilament leader you're going to use is to uh, typically you would push the nylon sheath back and strip out a little piece of the lead which isn't really very strong it's the nylon sheath that gives it all the strength and then you're left with a gap that you can use to tie what's called a nail knot and I won't waste your time going through the nail knot procedure and I'm going to show you why I'm not going to waste your time with that because I found a better way. Now, I typically use 20 pound tests and 20 pound test mono just happens to slide beautifully up inside the nylon sheath replacing in that last, I usually take about an inch and a half and push it in. If you just work it on, work it down in like that, you can get a couple inches of that nylon mono right inside the nylon sheath. Now the problem with the nail knot that I find is it ends up being quite a large knot and when you got a lot of tension on a big fish when it reaches the first eyelet it typically has a hard time working its way over that transition. Sometimes it'll create a pop. I've had them actually break which is a little frustrating. So I thought there's got to be a smoother way to do this and I just happen to have all the ingredients sitting in front of me one day and I thought no that couldn't possibly work but uh, I tried it and I'm going to show you a demo here and then I'm going to shut the camera off and give it a minute to dry but all you do is you paint that section thoroughly where the monofilament is slid up with crazy glue and leave that for a while to dry and uh, we're going to leave that for a couple three minutes here I'm going to shut the camera off and then we'll come back and we'll see just how strong that really is